We know that royalty have had an affinity for certain breeds of dogs, none more so than the Queen and her corgis. This is a wonderful story about a corgi called Susan. Tell me about Susan. Well, we only knew that from my father, who was a veterinary surgeon in Kings Lynn in Norfolk. When the Queen used to come to Sandringham, he was and his colleagues were in charge of looking after the small animals. And one day, uh, a footman came into the practice and asked my father, um, could he have a look at this particular dog? and my father obviously needed some information. The footman said, well, I'm not really actually sure that I know the answers. So my father, um, on a, a scruffy piece of paper, wrote down some questions. Right, and the first question is, which of course he addressed to the Queen, was, how long getting bigger? <laughs> and what happened? A note came back with hand-penciled <laughs> answers. And who had written those, of course? The Queen. The queen. Was that something that he expected? No, he did not. He didn't? No, well, especially on the piece of paper. <laughs> especially on the script. Let's look at the answer that the Queen wrote. It says, no idea, she's always been fat. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's a lovely, lovely little kind of, yes, I, I know, Susan. You know, Susan was given to, to her on her 18th birthday. And of course, we know thereafter that all the corgis that the, the Queen has had have been descended from, from Susan. And I think what happens is that this little note brings us very close to the way that she felt about Susan. There's a poignant side to this story as well, because we also have another letter here. I'm going to have to read this letter because it says, Dear Mr. Swan, obviously Mr. Swan being your, father. your father, I would like to thank you for all you did for my dear old Susan when she became ill and for the obviously Mr. Swan being your, father. your father. I would like to thank you for all you did for my dear old Susan when she became ill and for the immense amount of trouble you took in getting her sent to Cambridge and for all the care she had while she was there. Perhaps you could express my thanks to your colleagues. I had always dreaded losing her, but I am so thankful that her suffering was so mercifully short. She was very happily beating for us at our shooting the Friday before. With renewed thanks, yours sincerely, Elizabeth R. And my father was so delighted to get this letter, you know, for her to actually write to him personally uh, to yeah. say thank you. Did you talk to him and discuss how he felt about this? No, he was very private about it. Right. And um, again, being professional, he didn't disclose it too much. But obviously, yes, we did hear about it. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's very difficult putting values on things like this for the simple reason that these are very personal to you. Um, and I feel that they're probably worth in the region of about four to six hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. I would never sell them anyway. Absolutely. Thank you.